This first panel suggests a method to supposedly exceed the speed of light by having two flashlights pointed opposite of each other. The photons of the two flashlights relative to one another exceed the speed of light, except they don't. In classical mechanics, velocities do add up linearly with one another. If two cars were moving in opposite directions at 60 km an hour, the two cars would be moving at 120 km an hour relative to one another, but in special relativity when approaching the speed of light, the relativistic velocity addition formula comes into play. This formula makes sure nothing anywhere at any time exceeds the speed of light, which is the universal speed limit for information or matter traveling through space. But, the distance between the two photons emitted from the flashlights does indeed increase at a rate faster than the speed of light, which reminds me of the accelerated expansion of the universe, where distant galaxies can move away from us faster than light. However, even though the separation rate exceeds the speed of light, this doesn't break any physical law, because no information or object is actually traveling faster than light through space, merely the separation between two independently moving objects is increasing. Although this method doesn't work, it's a very smart thought experiment for understanding relativity. This panel instructs us on how to make a train that moves on air, and it actually works. The aero train was a French invention during early 70s. The idea was that the train puffs air on its tracks to keep it afloat instead of being lifted on rails. The train creates cushions of air by pushing down its weight, which it uses to hover and move forward. Propelled by powerful fans, this train was able to exceed 400 km an hour, which was truly revolutionary for that time period, but like many old the inventions you don't see anymore, this train had some serious problems. The first issue, like I'm sure many of you can imagine, is its infernal noise, which sounded like a thousand pressure cookers working simultaneously. Second issue with this last technology is that it used gasoline instead of electricity, something which was regarded as inferior to its competitor the high speed rail, which was being developed during the same time period. High speed rail was silent, powered by electricity, and used the previous built railway infrastructure to run, making it more economically viable. So the aero train was dropped and people forgot about it. But who knows, maybe someday it will make a comeback. 